Once again, we're building all the windows for this home. It's called the Tower House on Bankers Row in Logansport, Indiana. And you'll see very shortly the close-ups of the round top bay windows. They're 10 feet tall. They're recreating, as well as the close-up from the interior of the segmented arch. These are two windows in a single arch we've got to put together. This is the machine we're going to be making the templates on. It's an answered 10 horsepower overarm pin router. It's a very, very versatile machine, perfect for what we're doing here. have to do a little modification. We're laying this out. Um, the arch on the segments are exactly radius at six feet. So we're laying everything out here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is make a, a, a template and draw it, but I'm using a long uh, radius to do that. And here we are. I found out I really don't have to do this. I just wanted to do it the first time around to make sure that I that uh, things were going properly. Uh, I think we now have a system where we don't have to go through all this rigmarole. But you get the idea. Now, we uh, from that center point of that radius, we we uh, pinned it to this uh, table that I've created. So again, the back side of that cutter is exactly six feet from the center of the circle that would be made with these arcs. So I have just cut out the template for the segment of windows. Now we're going to get started on the round tops. And uh, I just pinned it right there. I knew that uh, I've got exactly the right radius. I drilled it and pinned it, and now I'm just running it around, letting the router cut it out. And now I have the template. I'm going to be using the top portion of this, not the interior. So we now have the template made. The round circles here sort of represent the template. The squares here represent the blocks that we're going to make, and the red are the splines that you won't see but are hidden and buried under into the blocks. And here are the blocks that I've already processed. I ripped them to width, I planed them, and cut them to length. I'm taking these blocks now, and I'm going to slot them around the per exterior perimeter for the splines to fit in. I've custom cut the splines also. So you'll see a lot of slots. Here are the slots. There's a spline. And I'm going to glue it up and then put the spline in like so and join them together. Then we'll clamp them. And shoot them with staples. To keep them in place, and now we have a molding block to work with. So now we're going to take the molding blank that we made with spline around it. We're going to put the template over it. We made that template previously. Then we'll mark it so we can bandsaw most of the waste away. So now we have the molding blank at the bandsaw. We're going to cut away most of the waste. And I wish I could go this fast normally, but I've got it at 2x here, not to waste your time. Leaving the line. And so now we have a blank that we're ready to run on the molder and actually put the final shape into it that we're, that we're shooting for. So the template's attached. We're going to run the template against the rub collar and mill away what we don't want leaving the nice clean profile that we're seeking and here it is with the template still attached let's take the template off so here's the finished product ready to mount styles on and make a round top window i'm pretty pleased <laughs>